Bo and Rocco get a call from a psychiatrist. Hey, we got a caller. Let's go ahead and we'll take a call here. 407, you're on. Hey, good evening, gentlemen. Uh, good. And I was, glad, I was glad you was on uh, Republic Broadcasting the past two days, and I, I had just called in and uh, sort of the end of the show. A lot, so many questions. My my my, my brain is just spinning. Uh, but I have this fantasy. Say what? Uh, but I have this fantasy. Uh, but I have this fantasy. But I have this fantasy of selling hot dogs on the side of the road, out of my truck without a permit, without a license, without everything. And I know some jack boots going to walk up and point a gun at me and say, well, you got to have this and that and this and that and this and that. And then they drag you into court. Uh, but I have this fantasy as a defendant, and I always go in as the alleged defendant. But I have this fantasy, and I always go in as the alleged defendant. Uh, and the, the, the last heading on my uh, motion to dismiss was, now comes but I have this fantasy. Ralph Jones, I'm making up a name in upper and lower case, also known as Ralph Jones in all caps. But I have this fantasy. A man endowed by my creator with certain unalienable rights, and I referenced the uh, unanimous declaration of independence. Of course, the judge didn't show up, but not knowing how to speak their language. But I'm thinking, isn't it the burden on the alleged plaintiff to prove with facts and evidence but I have this fantasy well, that I am a slave somehow to him and I, I have a birth certificate and I've, I'm obligated to perform because my mom signed well, a piece of paper. Well, guess what? You called yourself a defendant, so you already well, admitted you're a slave. Uh, alleged I said defendant, alleged. even. If you're walking in there... Uh, their place of business, and you, you're well, going to get hammered. See, that's what I'm saying. It's, it's a breakdown of the language. Do I put in uh, uh, complainant? Do I put in defendant? Do I put in petitioner? Uh, you know, I don't know what one of their words is going to throw me to. Those are all you know, titles to stay but, away from. Right. Well, what you got to do, forces. all right. But, but, but I, put, I, I put there, uh, now comes under threat of, of or under threat of arrest and other forms of violence. Uh... But I have this fantasy. Yeah, yeah. Hey, Bo, Bo will straighten you out. Let, let him do some talking to you here. Well, we've set ourselves up for this. I mean, you got to do your due diligence. Get your ducks in a row before you go out there with your hot dog stand. But the first thing you got to do is you got to quit calling yourself a man because a man is a, uh, you know, fictional creation of, of law. You know, it's a concept. Um, you know, they own the concept. So, I mean, you're subscribing yourself every which way but loose here. If you call yourself a man, a citizen, defendant, um, you know, stop calling yourself an individual. Um, you know, the creator of that word is their law, basically. It, it, it is a government, you know, it's something that owns the, that concept. Okay, and, and well, let, like let I said, just, man is a concept. Now, now, oh, hold now on, we got a we got a fee schedule in place. So I mean, if they want to, uh, you know, interact w with us, they're gonna have to first. They're gonna have to, um, you know, their liability is just through the roof with with our fee schedule because we've evidenced ourselves as. A sovereign state. So we're able to hold them accountable under the restrictive principle of sovereign immunity. 